Hey Seawolves fans, Nick Rush here alongside your very own Tim Payne, Seawolves defenseman. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me, Nick. So you're one of the newer players on the roster just coming in and you have a couple of newcomers to join you as well. How have you fit in recently? Uh, fitting in well. I like playing here. It's easy to play with this group of guys. Um, everyone gets along great, so uh, it's a smooth transition for me. What was your background in hockey before coming to the FPHL last season with the Delaware Thunder? Um, so yeah, last year I was in Delaware. Before that, I played Humber College back in Ontario. And before that, it was just like men's league. It's kind of an anomaly um, for me to be here right now because I quit hockey for like six years after grade 11. Um, and it wasn't until I started like really falling in love with the game again that I took it more seriously and started training and um, really focusing on hockey. So it's kind of a it's kind of a big jump. Mm -hmm. A long path coming here into the professional level. How have you adjusted so far in these past couple of weeks? Um, I feel comfortable here. The jump from college to pro was huge. Like I wasn't used to the amount of body contact and how heavy the hits were and the fighting and all that. So it's, uh, I'm just glad I'm settling in. You bounced around a bit this season. You started in training camp with the Columbus River Dragons, started the regular season with Elmira, the Mammoth. How have you been hanging in through all of these changes? Um, yeah, um, doing all right. I was treated great at Columbus. They actually um, put me on their bus and drove me up to Elmira when they were playing there. That's when I got traded. So uh, first class treatment from them. Elmira uh, didn't work out. So I took a flight down here, but I'm doing all right. Now, since joining the Seawolves, you've actually played against both of those old teams. Was that a bit of an advantage since you somewhat have a familiarity with how they operate and play? Um, yeah, I think so. Like, I know what guys' tendencies are and I could, um, you know, I was comfortable playing against them because I know who they are. So uh, I had like the ultimate scouting report, I guess. Now, how different is Mississippi, just the culture surrounding hockey compared to uh, those two other places, you know, Georgia and New York? Uh, great town, best fans, that's for sure. And there's a lot of excitement that there's a team back, so good history here, good hockey town. For any players, or excuse me, any fans who may not be so familiar with you as a player, uh, how would you describe your style as a defenseman? Um, simple defense, uh, just quick Puck, quick ups, um, lay the body when I can, maybe a fight here or there if I need to. That's another fun thing to bring up is a couple of weeks ago in Columbus, you went up against one of your teammates and a friend as well, and Justin Schmidt, one of the big yeah. fighters here in the FPHL. What's that experience like? Yeah, that was scary. I mean, <laughs> look up to the guy, respect him, and he wanted to fight me. I couldn't believe it. Uh, I definitely got lucky coming out of that one the way it did. Um, unexpected, a lot of fun, and uh, just uh, just happy I got away, like, alive. <laughs> See, and that's the crazy thing about it, too, is the fact that, you know, you're, you're feeling this way. It's intimidating, for sure, going up a big guy like that. But at the same time, you almost have to put on this face and just go up against it. And uh, like you mentioned, you're able to get a couple of good punches in there and uh, walk away to tell the story. Yeah, uh, we're not going down without a fight, that's for sure. We'll do some damage on the way out. That's right, and I know that outside of hockey, I know you like to read a lot of books as well. So just as a get-to-know-you thing, uh, what do you enjoy reading? Um, a lot of hockey uh, biographies and stuff. I just finished reading about uh, Scampanelli, the referee, Lensman. Mm -hmm. um, I just finished reading Gross Misconduct, uh, Spenner. Uh, and also uh, Derek Sanderson's book, so he's a big hockey book guy. Just a final question to round out this interview. Gang ready for a big 3-3 three and three against the Carolina Thunderbirds. We're starting things out in Baton Rouge tomorrow night. Uh, got a big crowd on deck for the neutral site games. How excited are you for that environment? Can't wait. It's going to be crazy. All right, well, thank you so much, Tim, for your time, and best of luck coming up. Thanks, Nick. Everyone, that's your defenseman, Tim Payne, here on Seawolves Digital Media.